Extreme Collectibles, Sideshow, Stormtrooper, Premium Format, Exclusive. We're together. Collectibles here with my continued path down the dark side both figuratively and literally. Literally because this is another Star Wars episode and I mainly started focusing on villains until I got him and we're gonna go into that in a little bit and then I also got Chewbacca who may have aired before or after this I'm not sure because to me these are kind of companion pieces at least in my head but uh so figure or literally going down the dark side picking uh, up uh, these Star Wars figures figuratively oh once you start with Star Wars collecting you're done just put a put a fork in me I started with just villains now I'm, I'm getting heroes and you know it's interesting to me I was thinking about all those people that have not seen Star Wars and if they were to go back right now and watch you know the New Hope in, and Empire and all that I don't think it'd be as good as it was for us growing up. I remember seeing, um, I didn't see Star Wars in the theaters. I definitely saw Jedi and I think I, I saw Empire. It was amazing. It was really amazing from, you know, the epic lightsaber battles, which looks stupid now, uh, to the music score, which is still amazing. But just those key moments. I mean, I remember, and this wasn't in the theater, but when Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia in, in A New Hope, they're escaping to the Millennium Falcon and the bridge is cut off and he shoots the controls and he swings across and they play a little bit of the Star Wars scene when he does it. That was an action-packed moment at that time. Nowadays with CGI and all the different technologies and the fast-paced environment, that doesn't stand a chance. So I think that's why Star Wars, for the people who didn't grow up with it, it's not as cool anymore. That's just my thoughts. I could be wrong. Let me know your thoughts. but. We're here to talk about thoughts on Star Wars Premium Format Stormtrooper. So this is made by Star uh, Sideshow Collectibles. This is one of 600. It's the exclusive version. So really quick, the exclusive version, let me show you the difference between the collectors. The collectors has the normal Stormtrooper head as seen here. And the exclusive version has Han Solo switch out which is where I'm kind of torn. So I needed a Stormtrooper and I like this one, but I thought why not get the exclusive for $10 more. Then I got him and then I got Chewie and it all began to snowball. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. I always say we, there's no one else here. Uh, let me, maybe the tape measure, that's what I talk about. So again, my measurements are not exact. Please go to sideshow.com, 10 deep, eight and three quarters wide. And mine is 18 and a half tall. However, I did have one issue and I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, but the front foot peg will not go all the way down. I've tried it a million times. It's the way the back leg is bent. I can't figure it out. Here's a picture right here. So do I send the whole thing back? Hopefully, maybe they'll just offer me credit. I don't know. But if I resell it to the wrong person who's really anal or something like that, then they won't accept that. So I don't know, I'll have to figure that out at some other time. I didn't dress him very well. So the base is one piece, the Stormtrooper minus the right arm, which is attached to the gun, the head. Then he has a mixed media belt and a little pack on the back. All pretty easy to go together. I really like Sideshow's unboxing videos. It really helps you save a lot of time, even though not that this is this hard to figure out. But uh, they made 600 of the collect, uh, exclusive and 1,000 of the collector's edition without the Han Solo head. An interesting fact, they have low stock on the collectors right now, but not the exclusive. I don't know why you wouldn't pay $10 more even if you're not gonna use it because it helps the resale value. Cost is $5.30. I got it, I think, on eBay for $4.75 shipped, so I was pretty happy with that. So I can't even send it back to Sideshow. Shit. Guess I am going li to live with that. Or I'll talk to the... It was brand new in a box, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. 
probably sit here and ponder while you stare at me, which is awkward. I'm trying to think of uh, anything else about the background info about this piece. So this is Stormtrooper. I think th this is from A New Hope, uh, especially with the switch out head when they are trying to free Princess Leia. The base, I assume, is a Death Star type theme base, even though it is extremely plain. So not really much going on there. And I just reviewed Chewie, and I don't know if that's airing or not, where I really like his base. So I'm, I, we know they have the capability to do it. Why don't they just do it? So a few cheap things, including the mixed media on this. But let's just talk about the concept and design. So this is one of those pieces that the concept can be completely different depending on which, which switch outs you use. I mean, this is, you know, night and day different. You either have a villain or a hero. So we're going to go with the villain just for now, and we're going to review the uh, uh, switch out head during paint and sculpt. But he's on the Death Star, presumably, because of the switch out, I guess, so that could change either. Very plain type metallic base, which is what most of the Death Star is. And the Stormtrooper, he's uh, either about to fire, so he sees an enemy. Uh, maybe he sees Luke and Leia and all them. Or maybe he's just marching and that's how they walk. But so I would classify this as a museum pose personally. Um, design, a few issues with the design. Obviously the, the, the key not going in in the front. The mixed media belt is kind of trashy. They could have made this sculpted. I don't know why they did mixed media because they're cheap. And then the gun holster is cheap as hell. Big miss on that. I would have rather, you know, I might not even display it with this to be honest with you. And it's, it's not 100% movie accurate anyway. And then also there is mixed media uh, underneath the armor, this uh, black spend, spandex type material. Thought I heard someone coming down. I need a recording light down here so people don't come down. No one really does anyway. Uh, my family, I mean. So uh, a few uh, misses with the design, I think. Concept's really cool. And when we, we're gonna talk about the paint and sculpt, it's not gonna to take too long because there's not much going on here. I mean, you have a very simplistic plain base. You got the uh, 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 white stormtrooper armor everywhere, uh, the black spandex, and that's about it. So uh, that was paint and sculpt, kidding. Uh, let's look close to the base here. So really the only detail on the base is on the sides. Uh, each side has kind of a few different things going on. This has one you know, steel type pipe conduit almost. On the back, they have uh, some switches maybe. I don't even know what they are. They could have added some color to those. This side, they got some cables and wires uh, on the part that juts out. They don't even need this part that juts out. They could have added those cable and wires onto the main base and, sp and, and saved some space. And then the, on the front, three nodules. Not sure what those are supposed to be. And the overall, uh, there's no texture on this. It's very plain, but there's a, a few different colors that they mixed in just to m not make it look as boring. Still didn't uh, make it unboring. Stormtrooper, really great looking boots. Good texture, good uh, scuffed color on there. Very uh, accurate to what it would be. I like the folds. I like the black that they added in. And the Stormtrooper armor throughout, I think that's a, a, a a hit. I think they did a good job. It's uh, very reminiscent of a stormtrooper on his legs. Then his front here. You have some of the uh, uh, controls. They could have done more with some detail and some paint on those. Then even on the uh, back they have the classic. Uh, I always thought this looked like a, uh, a toy brand like Mattel maybe because that's what I grew up playing with the toys. And then the black spandex uh, suit looks good. I'm worried it's gonna deteriorate over time. A few different shots of it here. Looking at his hands, so first his, uh, it looks like there's no good definition between the fingers, almost like they're blended together. I don't know if that's a paint issue or a sculpt issue. A Little bit of a miss. The blaster doesn't look the best. It's not movie accurate, which is kind of discouraging. Looks a little plasticky, a little like a toy. His helmet, I like a lot actually though, so. Um, looks really good. I like that they implemented the blue stripes on the side. And again, not 100% movie accurate, but it does look cool. 
the different nodules and speakers and I wish the time and energy they put on the helmet here both the you know sides here and the back they would have actually added that to more of the suit I think it would have made it pop but moving on to this this is why you buy the statue I think this is an awesome Harrison Ford likeness uh, let's start with his hair fantastic sculpt on his hair they got the color spot on there's even some blonde in there that's kind of hard to see with the blacks and browns looks really really good then moving on to his face uh, excellent likeness as you can see I'm not a fan of the expression uh, on his mouth and also in his mouth you don't see any teeth but it looks like it's slightly open and you can't see his tongue so it's almost a it's kind of a miss with that I'm kind of disappointed now that I'm looking at it this close looks like there's more skin back there which is stupid the coloring on his face is fantastic I wish they would have added a little bit of a five o'clock shadow but some good flesh tones in there and pinks nose is spot on eyebrows look okay they almost look like they're painted on but they are sculpted and painted and then just like the Chewbacca review uh, go check that out when it airs or if it's already aired he's looking up so I don't know what he's looking up at but kind of an interesting uh, fact so overall a very very good head sculpt I'm uh, impressed with it like I said I'm kind of picking it apart but uh, yeah, so there he is when his full glory. Phone My phone's ringing. I'm going to cut this part out, but. Yeah, so really cool head sculpt. I uh, uh, One other thing you could probably do with this. I wonder if somehow put the helmet here where you can't see the back keyhole. It's like he took the helmet off. So that's kind of a cool way to display it, I guess, too. But uh, here's a picture of him next to Chewie, just to kind of give you an idea. And those are my thoughts on this guy. Uh, not as good as I hoped. Uh, the head sculpt is, but like I said, that mouth thing is really bothering me. But uh, last thing, I do have a I Met Harrison Ford story. It was a year ago, just about a year ago. I took uh, my management team out. We went to... Uh, we're going to a Capitol Grill, which ironically, I'm taking them again this Friday. It's been about a year. But we go to this bar first. This, it's actually, it's a barbecue restaurant. They have a bar. And everyone leaves, and myself and one of my production managers, we, uh, uh, we are the last ones to walk out because I pay the bill. And we walk out, and there's this guy staring at me. He's got uh, jean pants, a jean jacket on, and full white beard. He looks homeless. He has a backpack, white flowing hair. And we walk out and I look at, at, at Ken, the guy next to me. I, he's actually taller than I am. He's like 6'4". I was like, I was like, I look at him and I look at him. I'm like, no way. That's a doppelganger. That's a homeless dude that looks like Harrison Ford. That's, that's unbelievable. So then we walk up about half a block to join the rest of the group. Guys were smoking over there and, uh, and we're like, we just saw Har Harrison Ford's doppelganger. And Scott, one of our other guys, looks over and says, you mean Harrison Ford right there walking with Callista Flockhart? And Harrison Ford, Callista Flockhart walking around downtown, no security, no nothing. And all of us are just, there's like seven of us, we're just like staring and he gives us a little head nod. And then he keeps walking and then they go up and they go across the street. It's kind of a downtown market area. And I was like, God, I wish I would have stopped him and gotten a selfie. It would have been my, my profile Facebook or uh, my Facebook profile selfie for the rest of my life. And uh, uh, I was like, I should have. You know what, should I go over there now? And they're like, no, no, you shouldn't. So I said, fuck it. So I ran out through traffic, I almost got hit. I ran up to him and I go, excuse me, Mr. Ford. I was like, um, I completely understand if you say no, but it would be the be biggest honor if I could get a selfie with you. And he spoke to me and the heavens opened and he said, no, thank you. Which is unfortunate, and then he kept walking. Then three strangers came up to me, because there was, wasn't many people around, but there were some, and they're like, oh my God, is that who I think it is? And I said, yes. So I think he wanted to take a picture with me so he could update his Facebook profile page too, but he knew that it would just gather massive and massive amounts of crowds. So much love, Harrison. Uh, hopefully we meet again. But with that, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Let me know what famous celebrities you've met in the comments. Take care.